I pull on my plain white sleeveless robe. It's what I sleep in these days. It's no long. It's too long. To, it's too long to feel even remotely comfortable in. But I'm damned if I'm going to wear that white shirt I used to wear to sleep ever again. I pick up the comb from my dressing table and I pull it through my soaked wet hair. I suck in my breath as it pulls as it pulls and tugs at my tangles. But I'm not going to complain about it. Any pain I inflict on myself is some measure of control I have over my body, of my own being. The door bangs open behind me. I spin around the cone, slipping from my fingers and drops to the floor with a clatter. Dolahoff stands, steps into my room, slamming the door shut behind me. His face is hard and flinty with rage as he stares at me. A long silence spreads out as I shake under the horrible gaze, feeling my fingers crawl with cockroaches, feeling my skin crawl with cockroaches. Say something. Get him talking. What do you want? I ask shakily. Stupid bloody question. What else can I say? But what else can I say? He laughs mirthlessly, a twisted face. Hard as he rakes his eyes over me. You know what I want. <laughs> Damn it. You know what I want. He starts to stride over towards me. I swallow down the bile that rises in my throat. Get out. I scramble across my room desperately, but he's too fast for me. Grabs me by the waist and stares, and starts to drag me towards my bed. I scream furiously in absolute terror, flailing my arms and legs around. As he rushes me across the room, I scratch and his arm, but he won't let go. He's just too strong. So I scream for the only name I can think of. Lucius! Lucius! I s he stops dragging me, but he keeps me his vice-like grip around my waist, clamming his hands over my mouth, cutting my screams off as he holds me still for a moment. What do you need, hmm? His breath is wet and hot on my cheek. What is it you want him for? He throws me down to the ground. I flail. I fall on my on my front. I fall on my front, and I try to claw myself away from him. But he grips at me, holding my legs down with my knees. With his knees, <clears throat> I try to keep him around. I try to reach around my back to hit him, but my shoulders burn with the pain. Excuse me, of uh, the angle of him. He laughs as he uses one hand to pin down my waist, above my head, and the other to push my head into the ground. Tears of pure rage roll down my face as my cheek presses painfully into the cold floor. I am almost paralyzed with fear, but I force myself to speak. He'll, he'll kill you! I scream desperately. He'll kill you as soon as I tell him! He grips me by the hair and wrenches my head up, whispering harshly into my ear. Oh, yes. Your almighty protector, tell me I'm curious what exactly is going on between you and my friend, Lucius. Because I know he hasn't fucked you yet, unless things have developed since I last looked into the pensive of his. How do you know about that pensive? I asked shakily. He laughs a wild, mad laugh. You stupid bitch. Did you ever wonder how it came to be in your room in the first place? It was you. He laughs again and slaps my head down onto the floor. I begin to sob as he starts to wrench down the top of my robe. And don't even think about trying to call for him, he hisses. He can't hear you. This is a big house. And I left him. And when I left him, he was on the other side of it. And when he comes up, I'll make sure that he knows that his precious little mudblood before he has, that I've had his precious little mudblood before he has. I tense my whole body up, trying so hard to force some magic out of it, but it feels like I'm pushing at a solid brick wall. Nothing will come. Nothing will help me. I'll do it then, you sick fuck! I scream, but I'll tell him about it, and he'll kill you. Maybe he'll even let me watch. I don't think he won't. I don't think he won't laugh. Shut up! He shouts, gripping me by the hair, almost wrenching me, wrenching it from my head. Do you think your laughter means anything to me? I'm well used to ridicule. 
And now Lucius gives a mud blood an excuse to mock me. Believe me, I'll show you just what true humiliation can be. Impedimenta. The weight of him leaves me and I can breathe again. I'm free. I, sp I spin over onto my back to see him fly away from me and smack into the wall behind him, crumpling down onto the ground. I look at the door and try to get my breath back, but I don't need to see him to know the who it is. I don't need to see him to know who it is. I knew as soon as I heard the incantation. I don't know whether I've ever seen it. Lucius as angry as he looks now. Ever. His face is so contorted with white heart theory that he barely looks human anymore. He strides over to me and pulls me to my feet, roughly grabbing me by the shoulders and shaking me as hard as he looks into my eyes. What did he do to you? He asks his voice harsh. What did he do to you? Nothing. I gasp. Nothing. Thank you. I don't thank him. What else can I do? We're stamped out of our eye contact when Dolhoff groans as he pulls himself up from the ground. Before I can register what is going on, Lucius grips my hand in his and pulls me beside him. Aww. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Before I can register what's going on, Lucius grips my hand in his and pulls me behind him. I freaking adorable. I have no soul, but that is so cute. You have no idea. Okay, anyways, I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. I'm about to get off. <sighs> Break it down. Mm. <clears throat> Dolov points his wand at us, laughing. Oh, very pretty, he spits. If only the Dark Lord could see you now, Lucius. If only Narcissa could see you now. You would. Who would ever have thought? Then they'd see the day where Lucius Malfoy would play knight in shining armor, armor to one of the filthy mudbloods he so despises. You will not touch her again, he says quietly, furiously. Huh. And let me guess why. Because I'm a pure blood, and a, a mudblood cannot be touched. Is that what you're going to say? He throws back in head and laughs again, quite deranged. <laughs> you're such a hypocrite. You can't even be honest with yourself. Crucio, Projecto. Dolph's spell rebounds away from us. His face twists with rage. <laughs> Good God. It's so pathetic, he says, looking at me. Do you even know what he's done to people like you before now? I've seen him torture and murder countless muggles just for sport. He's he used them as practice for the dark arts. Do you remember the Rookwood case, Lucius? Do you? What does it matter? And one. Antonin fucking what? Call him Dolahov. No one fucking calls him Antonin. 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 Whatever. What does it matter, Antonin? Lucy's voice shakes with fury. Dolaf smiles. A muggle. She may have been. But Rookwood loved her, he says, his eyes gleaming. You certainly didn't have to do what you did. He understood. When I explained it to him. Ah, yes. <laughs> Lucy says quietly. Ah, yes. The matter of the child. It's amazing how you can turn your pre pre prejudices around now, when in the not so distant past they allowed you to casually murder a pregnant muggle, rather than allow any more half-blood brats populate the earth. Lucius's hand tightens around mine, as if he senses the horror that sh streaks through me slashing through me. Why else do you think... <laughs> Why else do you think I am here to stop you? His voice struggles to keep calm. I am here to prevent such an incident from occurring again. Dolaf laughs again. <laughs> do you really think that I don't know what's going on? He shouts. 
You came here for her, and only for her. Lucy is Malfoy's little mud blood toy. Silence! Lucy shouts silently. You will not accuse me of such things out of no more than sheer jealousy. <gasps> so, <laughs> did you come here tonight then? Dole Hop yells triumph asks triumphantly. Why did you come here, if not for her? I won't believe that you hadn't even considered it before. I mean, look at her. Lucy doesn't look at me, but his grip on my hand tightens as Dolaf runs his eyes over me hungrily. So innocent. He says quietly, so pure. Not only that, but she's the one thing we're forbidden to have. It must be so tantalizing to you to know that She's sleeping, quite defenseless, in the room next to you. I wonder how you would have reacted if I would have managed to get my hands on her before you did. Lucius throws me to the side of him, and I fling in into a wall, excuse me, tripping over my robe and falling into the ground. Before I even hit the floor, Lucius shoots a spell at Dolaf. The pair of them start to duel, start to duel. Their wands, a blur of red, green, purple, and blue light, fly streaking through the air. I crawl out of the way and I crouch in a corner, shaking and huddling in on myself as I watch the pair of them duck and dodge. Dodge is spelled so wrong. It's like a dog with an e at the end. It's bad. Um, around each other's spells. I will myself not. I will myself not to want Lucius to win, <laughs> wishing more than anything that I could hope that a jet of green light will hit him and take his life away. But I can't hope for that. If he dies, then I'm left here with Dolaf. Surely Lucius is the lesser of two evils. <laughs> right? <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. I crawl along the floor, around the outside of the room, unseen by- Oh my god, did I go over 15 seconds? Oh, so close again, I'm so good at- Knowing in 15 minutes is ridiculous. Sorry. Oh my god, am I going to be able to make it to the ES? I might be able to. No, I probably won't. Am I really hurry? Okay. Um. Lucy's fighting me. Uh, I crawl to the floor outside of my room unseen by either of them. All I can do at this moment is each other is in the. I have to. Rig. I crawl along the floor around the outside of the room unseen by either of them. All I can see at this moment is each other and the spells that fly around the room. I claw my way along until I'm crouched right beside Dolohov, watching Lucius fighting. I look at the intense fury and concentration in his, on his face as his wand slashes, flicks, and soars through the air, sending a multi, old, out multicolored lights a hundred miles per hour. And it's all for me. He came here tonight to rescue me, and now he's fighting someone else who used to be his friend for me. And for me... <laughs> He'd do anything for me. It's enough. I know what I have to do. I leap up from the ground and I run forwards, throwing my arms around Dolohov's neck, using all of my weight and all of my strength to pull him backwards to get him away from Lucius. Wow. I said that really weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he struggles, lashing out and wrenching his body around. But I somehow manage to hold firm. My body used being thrown all over the place, but I can't let go. I can't let him win. I can't. I can't. I can't. I've had a cadaver. The light, the green light flies towards us, making my hair stand on edge. My eyes snap shut. Oh god, oh god. I fall backwards, Dolov coming down on me, both of us slamming, <laughs> slamming to the ground. His weight crushes down on top of me. Every bone in my muscle in my body, every bone and muscle in my body screams in protest. I open my eyes. Still alive. I push Dolohov off of me with a great effort and scramble out up from underneath him. Where's Lucius? I need to I need to see him. Yes. He's alive too. He looked down at Dolohov's face, very pale, his wand still tight in his hand. I follow my ga his gaze. Dolohov lies sprawled on the ground, his eyes open and glassy. He's dead. Oh my god, I cannot believe I finished that in 15 minutes. That is insane. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Dolov's dead. That's awesome, by the way. Awesome. So much awesome stuff happens from this. It's crazy. 
Uh, never have I ever been so excited for somebody to die. <laughs>